products. Let's just start off. Uh, we continue to be As always. open. We Safe. remain. Thank you for your orders, everyone. And this week, we're going to kick it off with... Ways that you could stay safe if you're like, I won't wear a mask unless it's black. No problem. And right now. if you're goth, you're set. We now have these surgical style masks with uh, black loops and like a black outer fabric. I mean, blue's okay, but why not goth it out? So we yeah. have uh, these 50 packs of masks. Uh, many people at Adafruit are already very excited no to excuses. wear these. Okay. So, we also have... <laughs> An updated new product, the BME 280, a fan favorite. People love this sensor. Um, barometric pressure, humidity, temperature from Bosch, uh, all in one. It's great for environmental sensing, um, you know, supported by just like about every platform. We've got an Arduino and CircuitPython and Python code, of course, but there's also drivers for like everything else. And um, we've now stem QTified it, so it now comes in the same uh, one inch by 0.7 inch size. Uh, the pinout at the bottom is the same, is the same in the same order. The physical shape has changed a little bit, but now it's plug and play with I squared C. So if you want to use it with any of our STEM QT boards, it's chainable, uh, works with uh, Grove cable adapter as well. Um, we've been going through and updating all of our boards to use the STEM QT standard. Um, it solved a lot of problems for people who did not want to do any soldering. And we were like ending up making a, you know, a, a soldered version and non-soldered version. But this way, it's just, nope, get the cable, plug it in. It's got the headers at the end, plug it into your breadboard or dev board, and you're golden. So, Next solve up. that problem. Next up, we've got some cool, cute little kits from TechnoChic. These are no solder um, project packs. Uh, we have two. The first one is the light up blinky bow tie. But you can see it's also a hair bow uh, kit. And um, uh, yeah, here's yeah. Jelly modeling it, thank you. It's got kind of this all-in-one uh, RGB LED. So let me show you the contents. Yeah. It's got um, 10 different kit packs. Like you, you just cut off a little bit here, but you've got, I think, uh, you know, four red, two white, and four black pattern, like cyberpunk designs. Um, and you can mix and match them. So like the center ribbon is a different, it's like red with white or whatever. And then you get these little um, like flashing RGB LEDs that you just um, tape them onto the coin cell that's included. Uh, you fold these up into a bow tie shape, put the uh, sticky um, clip on the back. This is like a safety pin clip. And then you can clip into your hair or on your tie, you know, as a tie. I think uh, Sean Himmel will really like these. He's always wearing um, bow ties. Um, and this comes in a pack for like 10 people. So this is a good project kit if you want to make multiple ones, you have a lot of kids and they all want to have two a piece. Or, you know, if there is a school activity, everyone's physically distant, but they still want to do a project together. Um, no solder required, no special tools required either, just a little bit of tape. We also have a more advanced but um, fun project. So this is a pack of one, so you only get one of these, not 10. And you can make a beautiful light up uh, headband unicorn kit with an RGB LED and this like really beautiful um, diffuse horn so I can show that so you get one and it's like really sparkly it's a sparkly plastic a sparkly headband that even fits my head and I'm not a young kid anymore um, it's got pink sparkly material and this just all folds up and again I think you'll need a little bit of tape to put it together and then uh, the unicorn horn is like a translucent material with like this gold and silver covering. Um, I think it's very fashionable. I think it looked great. Yeah, it looks good. All right, so uh, it's two kits from the same company. Um, the unicorn horn, you get one. The bow tie kit, you get 10. So good unicorn. for- Unicorn. Bow tie. Bow tie. Both modeled right. by Jelly. Next one. up. Next up, uh, SMT feather header kits. Some folks were asking for these. They were DIYing feather wings. Um, you may have seen these on many of our boards. We pick and place them onto our PCBs. Now available as a pack, as shown here on, say, this uh, grayscale e ink or on our Cricut board. Um, you know, they're very easy to pick and place on, and uh, all our feathers built in. They're nice and slim, so they don't take up a lot of space. So you can use um, short. Uh, male header or long male header, they'll plug in just fine. And uh, we like the double side because, uh, first off, they're mechanically very stable, right? They don't bend because they have like a nice wide base, but also means that you can probe or poke wires into the sides um, if you want to add additional hardware. 
All right, and the star of the show tonight, besides you, Lady Ada, our community, our customers, and our team, is Magtag. Yeah. Go Magtag. Okay, so I've been working on this for a while. Because um, we're like, well, we've been, we want to do e-ink, but we want to do e-ink right. And so what we're thinking of is, you know, one of the problems with e-ink is um, programming in Arduino just is just really difficult. So we wanted to make sure it was CircuitPython capable. We wanted to make sure it could connect to Wi-Fi. And um, we wanted to have a lot, you know, extensibility and a lot of little accessories on board. Um, okay, so stop here and I'll show off all the things. So we've got an ESP32 S2 module. So this is an ESP32. People know that module really well. It's a Wi-Fi microcontroller. This is the S2, which means it has native USB, and we have CircuitPython support, and there's also Arduino support coming uh, coming along. It's in a branch. It's not quite released yet. Uh, we have uh, USB-C built in along with a battery and battery charging. So it runs off a battery, and deep sleep is something that the ESP32 S2 can do. And so what's nice is you can display something on the e-ink display, go into a deep sleep mode so like almost no power is used, and the display keeps the image. That's what's so cool about e-ink. And so like we're, we're working on a lot of low power capability in CircuitPython. Of course, Arduino has low power already. Um, we have um, a extension, so you can have two JST connectors for connecting like NeoPixels or servo or relays or any you know, analog digital output. We also have a STEM IQT connector for adding other sensors. You can uh, connect an air quality sensor or the BME 280 you just saw. There's an onboard speaker for making beeps and tones. You can make alerts. Um, there's an on off switch and there's an accelerometer so it can detect the orientation. So like as you turn the e-ink display, it can display in different like um, either horizontal or vertical like uh, portrait or landscape mode. And um, there's buttons on the front and some NeoPixels. And here's um, the cool thing. So on the back, and I'll show us on the back, we have these um, four standoffs. And you can screw in these magnetic feet that they were originally designed for our RGB LED matrices, but we, we now stock them separately. And that's what inspired me to say, like, you know, hey, let's make something that you can attach to your fridge. Yeah. And that's why there's this refrigerator, because it's like it's it's the magnetic... Yeah. Tag that can attach to, well, it doesn't have to be your fridge. It can be anything like that. The idea is a lot of people are going to just be hanging out in their kitchens. A lot. Um, over the next few months. And we wanted to have, <coughs> you know, we all live through this, like, Kickstarter over and over of, like, oh, it's going to be an e-ink refrigerator magnet. Never ships. Never happen. Um, the renderings look great. Um, but for us, um, like, I'll give you an example. This was on our refrigerator on Saturday. So what this is... this so is a countdown code a, that we've... Just a countdown clock. It could be a countdown to the McRib. It can be a countdown to the inauguration. It could be a countdown to anything you want. Um, there's also a QR code on it. We generate those live, and that happens to go to the uh, buildbackbetter.com site. So this is just one example of something that you could do. It hangs out on the fridge. And look at that great font. I mean, that's the nice thing about CircuitPython is not only do we have QR code generation libraries, yeah. but we also have really beautiful fonts. So... Um, and it shows really nicely. E-ink displays. Yeah, if you if you have a great font, you're gonna have a wonderful time. So in New York, um, they have a dashboard where you enter in your zip code, and I'll tell you the infection rate. And they publish all the data on on GitHub. So this is just straight up going to GitHub, getting a CSV file, and you parse it, and displaying it. And it's like. That is impossible lines. to do on every other microcontroller platform. It's so hard. But in Arduino, this was really uh, sorry. In CircuitPython, yeah. this was really easy because you just request the data, grab it. Um, Python is great for parsing. Yeah, and you're watching this code. live. Yeah. Um, and then this one, this is just uh, some graphic stuff we're playing around okay. with. Okay, and so the display is grayscale. It can do yeah. four colors of, of gray. Um, and so you can see here, you know, this is like a darker gray, and then there's some light gray. It's just kind of a dithered image, so it's not, like, super clear. Yeah. But you can have, like, white, light gray, dark gray, and black. Yeah, this one shows it a little better. So this is the light gray, dark gray, black, and white. So you can actually have like some pretty nice effects. And so check out uh, JP's video. He's going to yeah, also be covering, you know, dithering uh, images or using like um, flat images for like a, a, a cell type animation. So this is a very nice image that shows the different layers of gray. Um, you know, we'll probably have a version with a tricolor display. But the thing is with tricolor displays is they take a lot longer to update. Um, what I yeah. what I like about this quick update is, of course. You update fast, you go back to sleep, and so you can run on a battery for a lot longer. Um, and the the current draw for this is about 250 microamps in deep sleep. So you see there's a little spot here. 
to tape a battery um, and then it recharges uh, when you plug it in and then um, when it's not, I mean, it's still, it's still running just fine. Uh, and this is even without deep sleep mode. It just like, you know, halts the modem yeah. basically. Um, and then you can attach a little, we have a little cloud thing and then there's buttons as well that you can use for user interface. And um, there's NeoPixels uh, in the video, uh, sorry, in the video we have, um, there's four NeoPixels that um, can light up the display. So you can use it as sort of a front lighting or as just like to give quick feedback. Yeah, we're also setting up so when you like turn it to the east, it'll have east coast weather, west, west coast weather. And then um, we'll do this neat trick where when you tap it twice, that'll count as a button and it'll do things as well. So we have a lot of neat tricks up our sleeve and uh, this you know could last months on your refrigerator and you can do all sorts of things with it. This is the easiest, lowest cost, e-ink, Wi-Fi, Python powered display that you can possibly get right now. Yes. We're very proud of it. Okay. Yeah, and we're, I think we're, um, we're making more. We, we sold out um, at this moment because we, uh, we put in like a hundred and, and everybody snacked them up. Yeah. But do uh, sign up. We have a little starter kit. Um, this yeah. is a starter kit. It comes with the four magnetic feet and um, our recommended battery. Um, or you can just pick up the individual mag tag. And for the people asking, will you have a 4.2 inch version? Yes, we yeah, will. Yeah, we'll do all that. We're going to do all that. We're starting with 2.9. And the same products.